Well, this is the grand finale. This is the burger right here, folks. Primer burger, six ouncer. That's right. Got a bed of lettuce, two slices of tomato, six ounce of primer burger, charcoal grill, cheddar cheese, medium fork, cracker barrel, Schneider's bacon, original smoked hickory, mayonnaise, and tomato ketchup. All right, I'm gonna watch bite into this. Hey there, friends. Welcome back. Today's episode, I'll be trying out the Keg Steakhouse 6 ounce prime rib burgers. I think I'm hungry. What about you? All right, stick around. I'm going to go through the process of how I do these. Once again, I'll be using the Zip brand charcoal instant light barbecue stick around show you how it's done yum yum This is the part of the show right now where I'm gonna slap that bacon on this grill. Yeah, definitely. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna move these coals together and then I'm gonna degrease the, the surface. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do here real quick. All right, move these coals together like so. Sorry, I can't show you some. What is there, okay? Nice and quick. All right. All right, so the surface got a little bit smoky when everything was going, so I got a piece of paper here and I put some olive oil on it. So I'm gonna just clean that surface because I never showed you that in the last one. All right, see that? Yeah, get all of that off. Oh. Fire is hot. Oh. Hot. Hot. Yeah, get get that get that off as much as we can. Wow. Sorry for the fidgeting around. But yeah. We don't want too much of that on our meat. <sighs> right? So we gotta use some advanced techniques. Alright. That should be good enough now. All right, we're back. Bacon time. Got the bacon wrapped up in here. I had it in the fridge until I was ready for it. I'm trying to do too many things at once here. Sorry about that. All right. Let's open this up here. All right. Oh my goodness. Ugh. All right, there we go. We got the bacon, slabs of bacon. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a slab here, right? Get a huge slab. All right, transport over to the grill. All right, so I got my slab of bacon on the grill. So basically now, I'm just gonna Separate it using the whole surface of this grill here, just like that. Yeah.
All right, I want to turn things over because you can see that um, the size of the bacon is drawing down, right? Let me give you a good angle here so I can uh, operate this thing. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that uh, cleaning it up with that olive oil made a, a world of difference, big time. Oh yeah, get some of these ones that aren't uh, cooking up over here. But also, um, before I put my burgers on, this is a good way to let the coals cool down as well, you know? Oh yeah. Let those go. If you don't like bacon, you can always fast forward this part. All right, just in case you missed out what was going on, I've done my second batch of bacon. Have a look at the first batch, crispy bacon. Mm -mm -mm. There's a second batch right there. So let's get to it. Let's get those off the grill right away. As you can see, there's lots of aromatic smoke misting around. You gotta love it. All right, let's do this gorilla style. All right. Oopsie daisy, shit. All right, everything's okay. All right, there we go. Transferring it over here. These ones were a little bit more fatty. But coming up next, Superstar Prime Rib Burger. All right. So now, introducing to you, Beef Burgers by The Keg. This is what I'm gonna be putting on the grill right now. As you can see, our fire is nice and smoky hot. All right, I've adjusted the coals so that we can get nice heat distribution. I got some six ounce patties that I'm working with. All right, get in there. All right, so I'm gonna put these six ounce patties on the grill here. All right, so let's have a look here. Ooh, these are soft right now because I like these. Ooh. These are really delicate right now. Oh my goodness. All right, I got one of them on successfully but I, I allowed it to get a little bit too soft. It's about six minutes per side. Here I am struggling because it's extremely soft from frozen. Ooh, I put it in the fridge. All right, here we go. Get a little extra piece here. That's where it belongs down to here. All right. I'm gonna let those go for six minutes and uh, we'll see at the turn what they look like. Right now I'm sweating, boy. I'm freaking hot. All right, see you in six minutes at the turn. All right, right now it's been seven minutes and a little bit. So I'm ready to turn it over, see how it has browned on one side. Let's have a look. All right. Oh yeah, there you go. It's getting nice and caramelized brown there. Mmm, smells delicious too. Oh wow, look at that. I know this one got a little bit uh, destroyed, but uh, still good. All right, I'm happy with the way it's coming out. We'll leave it to cook on the other side for another six, seven minutes as recommended and then it'll be done. Cook thoroughly through. Prime rib burger, baby. Oh,
mic'd up. Well, this is the grand finale. This is the burger right here, folks. Primer burger, six ouncer. That's right. Got a bed of lettuce, two slices of tomato, six ounce of prime rib burger, charcoal grill, cheddar cheese, medium fork, cracker barrel, Schneider's bacon, original smoky hickory, mayonnaise, and tomato ketchup. All right, I'm about to bite into this now. Definitely, it's really good. Check out that bite. Mm -hmm. I'm saying sharks in the water. <laughs> All right, folks. There you have it. Primer burger, six ounces. Hickory smoked bacon. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, Bellagio bun, olive oil type. Very delicious. Go pick it up at your grocery or freezer store. The Keg Steakhouse Prime Rib Burger. Charcoal Grill style. All right, later.